hello guys so in this video we are going to deploy a uh, xjs app using an express backend both to versal so let's get right into it so for this tutorial you just need to have a github account and a basic knowledge of typescript and how does the nextjs and expressjs frameworks work so we'll be using github code space for this so and then we will be using node so we'll be using the latest 20.11.1 version and then we'll be using nextjs that will be our ui framework and express as that will be our packet framework and everything is going to be in typescript so it's going to be type safety yeah and uh, this is the repository where you can find the code so and yeah and this is the ps code uh, i'm sorry github code space instance so if you hit the code and code space like you can either create one or just open an active one so this is active so i'll be using this one and uh, we are going to use versal to deploy all the stuff yeah so at first let me clear this and let me make a so let's first create a nextjs app so I'll be using pnpm so so I think pnpm is installed by default in this instance yeah so if I hit pnpm it shows so it's actually a package manager very similar to npm yeah so and it's very fast to install and it has pretty much good and better than npm so let's create a next app so this is how we create a next app so I just want to call it UI and I'm going to use TypeScript, ESLint, Tailwind CSS. I'll use the SRC directory, app router, and the default alias. I'll just keep it to at SRC slash star. Yeah, so it's actually using pnpm. So let me first close all this and uh, yeah and i don't need this to ignore and yeah let me first walk you through so this is the dot settings dot pipe i'm sorry the settings are json where uh, you can override the default settings for this repository the editor config is just a simple file for the editor to know the tab space and this is the git ignore and this is the npm rc just node config files and this is just used to specify which version and the license and the simple readme file so this will get updated over time and now if i hit node dash v it shows 20.11.1 so let me actually see it into the ui directory and hit pnpm dev yeah so it actually shows this open in browser so let us select and uh, it will take a few seconds and it loads and uh, yeah so whatever changes we make will be updated in real time so let us go to the page i don't need most of this i'm just going to remove everything just have a simple div of home page home page and uh, just going to close the div yeah so now if i hit reload yeah i'm getting the home page okay so and now i'll even have an about page so a b page dot dsx yeah so it created and export default it's going to be a function of about and about yeah so this is the home route and if i go to slash about i get the about page or any other page if i go i get a default error page yeah so and we are just going to make one basic change we are just going to change the output for this to be in export mode 
yeah so this is one thing which i'll change and uh, let's make their api so inside api i'll just create a new i'll just create a new src folder and i'll just create an index so i'll just copy some basic package.json and tsconfig files over here yeah so inside the app directory i'll create a package dot okay so it's json yeah and then i just paste it here yeah so it's just going to have a dev script it will spin up a ts node dev respawn instance and the start will just use the dist index.js and the tsc is used to build and uh, yeah we are just using course and express as of now and the dev dependencies is uh, obviously typescript ts node ts node remraft pre-commit uh yeah so i'll even copy the basic ts config file uh, so so let us go to the folder and copy is the ts config.json yeah and so inside so i'll cd into the api directory and hit pnpm install so okay i made a mistake so yeah so let's move it outside and now let's install so yes it's installing and meanwhile so i'll try to import express from express and yeah and import course from course and uh, okay i'll just let github copilot copy so it's i'll just rename it to api slash hello so rest start it's going to be a json and uh, app dot get goodbye uh okay so then i'll just give it a port of process.env and then i like to run my backend services at port 8000 so yeah so i'll just keep it like this as of now and if i hit a pnpm dev we should start and uh, okay so api slash hello so it's working and then bye is that bye or what i forgot okay it's goodbye yeah so good bye yeah so our back and front end both are working at this point so now we should try to create a version.json for uh, deployment so the version so the version is going to be 2 this is coming right from their docs and uh, builds uh, builds the src is going to be api slash src slash index dot ts so that's going to be personal slash node and if i go for src and that's going to be ui slash package dot json that's going to be personal slash next so after builds it's going to be for ROUT routes and uh, yeah 
so everything in api is going to go to that so and you can even have an env of uh, No DNV is production. Okay, so this is the simple basic uh, file, and I don't need here a readme and uh, yeah. So I'll just stop both of them and uh, I'll just hit clear and now hit in it oops so if i hit a git status git add api i don't know whether git commit hyphen m add it api uh, if i hit a git push will it work okay so if i hit a reload okay so yeah so git add ui git commit added ui folder so git status git add dot git commit hyphen m added personal dot json json file and now if i hit git push so yeah everything is pushed to github and everything is actually ready to deploy so let's go to versal and uh, this you should have a versal account and it's pretty free and uh, this is the frameworks we'll be choosing as others and the root directory will be dot slash and let's just click deploy so yeah so it started the building of our project and yeah let's see if we are getting any error and uh, i'll get back to you once it's done yeah okay so our project has been deployed so let's continue to our dashboard to see the project and the domain yeah so i need to check whether my api is working so yeah so hello from express so that is working and uh, now let's try adding another route to our project so in src index .ts. so i'll just have an to just print the date so yeah so that will just send me the date of the yeah so uh, let me cd into the api directory and hit pnpm dev to actually check whether it's working so let me open it so api slash date so that's printing giving me the date so yeah and similarly in the front end let us add another page for date slash page dot yes. so let me just i'll just wait for export function date page so that is just return date page plus okay so let me even run my front end so cd into ui pnpm dev so this should actually print out the date so yeah it's actually building so if I go to slash date, this is the versal which is giving me the date. So this is the front end, the next JS.
okay so both are working so i have just made the changes so if i put a git status so git add api git commit fnm add it get api route so git add ui git commit add it a date page so if i push the changes and now if i go to github and hit refresh so all these changes should have been added here and uh, if you see here Purcell actually picks up the deployment and starts so yeah so let us see what it's building so it is actually building my front end at this point so yeah so there are almost seven pages which it's building generating static pages so yeah and i think my front end is done as of now and this is my express js that is building so yeah it's actually completed so this is the deployed url let's refresh and if i go to api slash date it should show me the date yeah so that is a change which we made and if i hit date it uh, this is the next js which is rendering the date yeah so everything is working as of now because we are using the front end for uh, next js and our entire back end is of using the next api route which is not kind of sufficient for a very good project you can use Vers versal to deploy an express js app within the next js app so yeah so if i again refresh the page yeah so it's built successfully and even my productions are being uh, updated so thank you guys so this was a tutorial on how to deploy both the nextjs and expresses together on Vercel. so if you actually like this video please share subscribe and comment on what you want to see next so based on that we'll make the tutorials thank you